Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to optimize your mods on Skyrim to avoid CTDs and other various issues that you can encounter if your mods are improperly set up. So, anyways, I'm going to recommend that you download Skyrim Mod Organizer. It's uh, probably the best tool for this. Um, it works very well, it's very easy to add mods to, and uh, I've never had any issues with it yet. It actually even highlights potential issues that mods could have when interacting with each other, and if they're overriding the same resource that could cause an issue, it will alert you to that, and it's very helpful to have that. So, anyways, first off, you're going to want to download Mod Organizer, so go and do that now, and... Um, there's really no easy way to import your mods if you use the Nexus Mod Manager. You could try and use the NMM import tool. Um, I tried this. I ran into an issue where it would crash my mod organizer, and I would not be able to import my mods. So what I had to do was go through and delete the mods and install them through mod organizer manually without the import. And... Uh, Everything went fine. They all worked great. So enough rambling. I'm going to get into the actual video and show you guys how to clean your mods. So the next two tools that you're going to want to download are called Loot, which is Load Order Optimization Tool. And this will set up your mods in an order that will load them properly to prevent crashes that could disturb your gaming experience. Nobody wants to deal with crashes. I mean, I've been walking into Dawnstar and crashing six times, and that was driving me nuts. Cannot deal with it. So, get loot. It helps. And then, to actually clean your mods, you're going to need a tool called Test 5 Edit. So, download that, and then, once you have both of those tools downloaded, you're going to need to import them into your Skyrim mod organizer. And, to do this, you're going to want to Go to this little green and blue gears right here and click on this. Here you can go down to binary and locate the application file for the application you want to add. Right here we have loot. So you would click that and add that and then you would give it a title. I recommend just calling it what it is so you can locate it easier but you can make it whatever you want. Whatever floats your boat will work here. You can make it dick, vagina, anything. So, once you have those added, you are ready to clean your mods. So, the first thing you want to do is select Loot from this drop-down menu, and you're going to want to click Run. And I usually unlock this while Loot's running. You don't really need it locked. And now you're going to want to wait for Loot to load up, and that's going to read through all your mods and tell you if you have any critical errors or anything that's conflicting that will prevent an issue with the game loading and cause a crash to desktop. So we're going to give this a minute to load up. Right now it's currently scanning my mods and analyzing the order for issues. Alright, as you can see it's parsing the master list of mods and evaluating the data from that. Make this big so you can see it better. And now it's loading up what it needs to tell me about my mods. If there's any issues or anything I need to correct. Alright, so my mods are pretty good. I don't have any issues in here. You can see uh, I have one conflict that recommends I use the patch, and uh, I actually have the patch installed down here, so that's not a big deal. Um, but I have no issues. If, if you have an issue with a mod, it's going to pop up and say you have some invalid ITM references. It's going to be an issue in yellow, and it will flag it as a dirty plugin. And you're going to want to clean this mod because it's going to cause an issue and a potential crash to desktop. So now that we've done that, you want to leave loot open and put it off to the side where you can easily read what you need to read. Okay, so we're going to pick a random mod to clean because I don't have any mods that I actually need to clean. I've already went through and done all of them uh, a while ago. So say we have an issue with our Corners of Skyrim mod. You're going to want to come back to your Skyrim Mod Organizer, and you're going to want to run the TS5 Edit. Oh, it's telling me it's not found. I think I might have accidentally went and deleted it. Let's analyze this real quick. Uh, 
Um, I think I might have deleted it. I just got done optimizing my computer files, my whole C. I had only 300 gig remaining, so I freed that up to give me 600 gig. So I'm going to cut this here, re-download that, and uh, restart it from there. All right, sorry about that, guys. We are back here in uh, the cleaning mods video, and we're going to get started with cleaning our mod. Uh, I believe we decided on the which mod. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We're going to do the convenient horses mod. We're going to give this a clean. So we're going to want to run the test five edit once you have installed that in and modified it to work with your mod organizer. All right. <laughs> Anyways, you're going to want to click select none here on the mods and navigate to the mod that you wanted to clean and it can be a pain to find sometimes if you can't find it here because it uses the actual ESP file names you can come here and scroll through these and this might help you locate it uh, because it gives you a little more information with the name let's see uh, why don't we try searching for it up oh, here we go convenient horses see sometimes you just need to use the search button all right, so once you get that selected, you can only select one at a time. That's very important. Do not try and load all your mods in at once while you are cleaning them. Uh, you want to click OK. OK, so it's going to process and read the files and load them in the test 5 edit for us so we can go ahead and get this mod cleaned. All right, so when you see background loader finished, that means that the mod has been completely loaded in to test 5 edit and is ready to be cleaned. So the next step here is you're going to want to right click on your convenient horses ESP and you're going to want to come down to apply filter for cleaning and you're going to want to click that. So it's going to go through your records and it's going to find any conflictions that may pop up and come up with a certain amount of records. All right. So you can see it came up with 889,408 records and filtering done. So we are okay to move on to the next step. You don't want to right click it again and click the remove identical to master records selection. Okay, you're going to get this really dramatic warning pop up telling you you're about to edit a module file. And um, if you're watching this video, uh, you should know what you're doing by now, so you should be all right. You're going to want to click yes, I'm absolutely sure. Alright, so that's done. You can see it processed 728 records and removed four of them. And when you see that, you know this is done and you can move on to the last and final step of cleaning your mod. So you're going to want to right click on your ESP again and come down to undelete and disable references and give that a click. Alright, you can see that's completed. It's printed off in the console here. So that's all there is to it. Now you're going to want to exit at a test 5 edit. Okay, it's telling me to save the files. This is what I want to do. If you want, you can back up the file in case anything goes wrong. Um, I would recommend doing this. You don't have to if you don't want to. And the next step is click OK, and that's going to save the file and overwrite it. All right, and you are done. You have successfully cleaned your file, and it will work for you in Skyrim and no longer cause any conflictions or crash to desktops. Uh, basically you're just going to want to go through your loot and figure out all those issues, come back, run test 5 edit and clean that mod. And then when you're finally done with all that you're going to want to come here and click sort and this will do one final optimization of your load order. Then you're ready, you want to come down SKSE and launch your game and happy Skyrim.